So Microsoft had uh, earnings come out, and uh, the earnings were actually good. Um, they did have an earnings beat, but the thing is, um, there are concerns um, that. Oh, sorry. I just sorry. I just minimized my screen in an accident. There are concerns that um, are being voiced by um, Microsoft, the company, about the problems in China. So Xbox components. Uh, I'm not sure the entire production chain for um, for uh, for Microsoft how they make their um, you know their Xbox, etc. But what I do know for sure is that the um, the production is expected to have some problems, delays, because of the lockdowns and shutdowns and slowdowns in China. So basically, Microsoft is saying that while they their company's doing well now and everything's fine, they expect some hurdles going forward because of what's happening in China. And if that does occur, that should soften uh, Microsoft's uh, price a bit so analysts right now are actually reflecting that they're moving down their targets. And these all came out today. Microsoft had earnings um, uh, yesterday evening. So basically the numbers came out and now um, analysts are basically reducing their targets. They're expecting Microsoft uh, to be about, I don't know, 10 15 maybe $20 lower as its price target than it was before. So most analysts are coming in somewhere around 340 a share, whereas we were seeing maybe 350 360 370 a share before. Uh, so in short, um, earnings season has not been so great this, this season. We are in the middle of it, as, as you did say, but it's not going so great. So um, I think that I think that we should be cautious about it, but I think Microsoft looks like a pretty decent buy because it is coming in off of a low, and that's usually the place where you want to look for a buy.